uh, hey guys, uh, I just wanted to, uh, today I just wanted to help you recreate something like this. It's actually going to have better lighting. But, it's not going to be the modeling, it's just going to be the texturing. The modeling really is just a whole other video. It's really, really, this, I mean, I did this video before, 25 minutes, really long time just for texturing, and not even that advanced texturing really. But, um, I decided to put this out there. I haven't actually done a video in a while, so... Let's get started. So this is the scene that if you downloaded it, you should have the blend file. It's not very big. It's only I don't know how big, but I know it's not that big. It's only what six thousand vertices. So let's let's get started. Just be aware that I have things on three layers. First layer is uh, the main, the walls, and the floor. Second layer is the frames and the accessories, like the trimming and the bookcase and third layer is camera and lighting just keep that in mind also uh... i also labeled everything over here alright so let's add a texture to our wall first one thing well no let's just add texture first we need a new material so click on material name that Oops. wall new texture well, just any texture, just, it's going to be image, and uh, anything that you find off Google, any, you know, um, any texture that catches your eye. This isn't actually going to be it, uh, this image is way too small, and if I were to render this as it is, that's how it looks because it's insanely uh, distorted. So, I, I tried to fix it, I couldn't fix it, but I did find that if I repeated it, like, say, 15 times on the X and 15 along the Y, it actually makes for a pretty good wallpaper. Right, so this is what it looks like, the wall texturing. Um, I like it, it's striped wallpaper, I think, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so now let's focus on the carpet. So right click on the floor, you have to add a new material before you add a texture, just keep that in mind. Name that carpet. And so now we can add a new texture and name that carpet. We don't actually have to name it since I don't have anything else in this group, but I mean it's a good habit to get into. Under image, open your carpet texture also. Again, just got this off Google. And if I would, if I were to render this right now, it also looks distorted just because it's a small image size. You see, two, two fifty by two fifty. You see, like just like how it looks. But if we were to repeat this, say what five, five by five maybe, uh, it actually looks much better. And you see, it looks much better. It actually looks like an industrial carpet, uh, like an office carpet that's really tight and tight woven and really uh, knit together, so that it doesn't get too much too worn. You know, hundreds of people walking on it every day. So that's just what I was going for. When I found that texture, of course, any carpet that you want, you know, depends on that. So now let's add the handrail. So again, add material. I'm not going to name it this, this time. And now it's going to be image. They're all images. I'm not going to texture paint anything. And I found this one. I think I've had this one for a while, but it's also from Google. And I'm also going to repeat this one 5x5. Five because five. if I just leave it out 1x1, one one, it just gives it that solid color, but it doesn't... That solid cover color but it doesn't give it this like you know grainy feel it's not too it's not too refined but it's fine but it's fine because we're not it's not close up so it's not going to be the focus of everything so so now we're going to add new texture to this tab into edit mode first though hit p and separate it by selection so that we only texture the framing so Making sure that the framing is right click selected. Add new material and a new texture. And it's also going to be an image. 
and under image just click on this picture right here and just use the render texture so now if I were to F12 this that's how it looks and we don't need to actually repeat this one just because it looks fine as it is so one more thing I want to do is decrease the intensity to give it a, di a feel of a different type of wood um, <clears throat> so if I were to re-render this it looks like a different type of wood like walnut and maple I actually don't know the different types of wood but I mean that's what I imagine it it's a darker color it's a darker color so that's what it would look like so now we're done with textures now we are actually going to right click on this texture go to the modifiers tab and apply the subsurf same with this trimming down here apply the subsurf and now shift right click on this trimming hit T to open up your toolbar and join them that way we only have to add one material for all of them so this material is actually just going to be an intense white so just increase these values there we have our intense white same is for the bookcase the new material is going to be that, that intense white should have named it you know trimming that's what you should name it huh so now let's render that sorry for the background noise I don't know if you can hear that or not but my little brother's watching a movie um, alright there we go so this is basically our scene that we've set up one more thing we can see right here this door it's supposed to be a door it has the same texture as a wall which is not what we want so just to fix that you would tab into edit mode my mouse is pretty jumpy uh... go into face select mode and shift right click on these two faces hit P and by selection now tab out right click on this and change the texture to trimming because we want that door to be all white too <coughs> and so now we have our basic this looks the same as this one I mean yeah minus the books the books I didn't get saved I closed that without realizing but that's fine you can just easily make that with the cube so there we have it uh, there's our textures uh, just sorry for the interruption um, okay so one more thing we can do I actually saw this with I'm actually gonna add an animation with Andrew Price to give it well well first about the lighting I think the lighting is fine as it is if we wanted more then we can add more lights but I mean that looks just fine now a different type of lighting would be I will well, that I wanted to make would be a sinister lighting and I actually saw this tutorial with Andrew Price I'll put the link down below so you can actually watch the full tutorial it's not that long but just you know give credit where you know credit is due so graph editor I actually already has it so I'm gonna delete that you shouldn't have that but if you do just hit X and delete that I just wanna make sure I get the right lamp so right click on this main lamp right here if I go to 7 that's actually where my real light would be so it's you know fair uh, placement bring that down a little and I actually wanna click on the lamp in the property settings and with your mouse over the energy hit I and that adds a keyframe for it now hit control shift M and noise and that adds a noise keyframe for my lamp and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna grab that keyframe and move it down because I want darker darker uh, energies so if I were to move my mouse through this you can see it changes the energy level which is what I want so now we we'll, now we need to render the anim animation I'm actually going to leave these two lamps here see how that affects the lighting um, well I'll just shift right click and decrease the energy fairly some alright now I'm gonna have the end animation well I'll just leave it as it is I'm actually gonna go here and select the output render results
hallway animation. Except, and it's going to be an MPEG. Make sure the threads are two. And I believe that's all we have to do. I don't know, I just, uh, I will try that. Alright, so now let's click animation. And it'll begin to render my animation. Uh, I'll pause it and get back to you when it's done. Alright. Alright, so it looks like it finished rendering, so let's check that out. Okay, so I'm under Blender, I was about to say. There we go. And you can see a slight flickering right there. Uh, just a second. All right, sorry about that. Uh, as you can see, it's very grainy, but there is a slight flickering, um, making it a little bit more realistic than if it was just one light flickering. See, if we play it at a small size, it looks quite a bit better. Um, I don't use the animation very much, so if if you guys know how to increase the size and make it look better, please feel free to comment below because, I mean, I don't like to watch it like that and it's all grainy, but then like that, you know, it's tiny, you know, what's there to watch, so, uh, yeah. Alright, so, well, there you have it. Um, different, different thing, different things you can get with the lighting uh, and uh, modeling this. Well, not modeling it, but texturing it and stuff. Um, thank you for watching.